You're listening to Career Ready, and I'm Coach K. Getting you ready for your corporate career. We have already discussed what a cover letter is, when you should be sending one, what components make up a good cover letter, and today we will go through some tips and mistakes you can avoid when drafting and sending out your cover letter. So we will close off this week's Career Ready with a few of my personal tips for writing your cover letter in terms of the African market. Firstly, and I think most importantly, is this. Don't stress yourself. Google is a great resource, but most of the information results given are for the American market, which functions differently to ours when it comes to the requirements of the job seeker. So don't be disheartened when you come across a cover letter template with information you cannot complete or compute. Like I mentioned yesterday, in some instances, um, a recruiter might not even be able to give you the company details until you've been shortlisted for an interview. Or some companies want to remain anonymous and don't list the employee details. So if you were not personally recommended for the position, you might not know who the hiring manager is, and that is okay. Second most important factor is making sure you have checked and checked it again for grammar and spelling mistakes but also to make sure that you use the name of the right company and position before sending it off. Additionally, here are 10 more mistakes to avoid or look out for when sending your cover letter. One, making it too long. Remember to keep it under one page. Two, not thanking the receiver for their time and consideration in reading your cover letter. Three, being too casual in your greeting salutation. So don't use greetings like hi or hey or hello bongane, but rather dear bongane or good day bongane. Or if the receiver you've been communicating with has been referring to themselves by title, then refer to them that way. So dear Mrs. Kekana or dear Mr. Zungu might be more appropriate. Number four is not following instructions. If they've provided you with instructions on what to include or exclude from your cover letter, then follow these instructions. Number five is providing too much information. Just like in an interview, you need to be careful of how much personal information you provide in your cover letter. Six is not being consistent. Remember that your cover letter is an extension of your CV. So try to use the same font type and font size as your CV but also use the same name that you used and contact details that are reflected on your CV in your cover letter as well. Seven, talking about salary expectations. You should never bring up the salary expectations conversation and it should never come up in a cover letter, but rather either through the recruiter or in an in-person process during the interview. Number eight, focusing on job duties and daily responsibilities instead of your strengths and achievements. Number nine, discussing why you're currently looking for work. This is irrelevant information. Number 10, highlighting too many soft skills. These are skills like how well you communicate or how reliable you are, because you can demonstrate all of these things by highlighting your strengths, achievements, and experiences. That brings us to the end of Career Ready this week. More than anything, I hope that you are now a lot more comfortable in attempting to draft your cover letter and playing around with it so that it sounds a lot more like you. That's it from me today. Thank you so much for joining. You can continue the conversation with me on LinkedIn by following my hashtag QMCareerCoaching or on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, as well at HelloCoachK. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email at info at hellocoachk.com. See you next time.